Made in Hollywood. Made in Hollywood presents a behind-the-screen look at the game-changing visual effects used to give a Disney animated classic a live-action reimagining as The Lion King comes to your home screen. Here we are, uh, 20, 25 years later, we have the opportunity to uh, in explore what new technologies have to offer and the way a new cast could uh, interpret the songs and the roles. As soon as you see Simba turn around and uh, and it's so real as an infant, you know, and it's just so, so alive, you know, and you just feel all of the power and the realism and the, and the sense of it is, uh, is, is remarkable. Oh, it was breathtaking. I, I've spent some time in Africa and it's the most awe-inspiring place there is. And, and I actually, sitting there watching the film, especially that opening scene with that song that's so iconic, it just, it felt like you could be sitting there watching animals in Africa. It was beautiful. There's a core group, you know, the director, myself, the cinematographer, the editor, the AD. We had actually an AD to shoot the virtual scenes, things like that, the animation director. So you work with them mostly, and then those guys work with the other six, seven, eight hundred people, and every day just checks their work and does all that stuff. So we get a little more of the acclaim, but there's like hundreds and hundreds of people who make every hair on the animal, every blade of grass look absolutely photoreal. So those are kind of like the heroes of the, of the group. We just say, yeah, we're going to shoot here, and then they fill out the scene, and it looks spectacular. Dad, let me come. I can help. No, son, you stay with the other cubs. There are moments in the movie where you have to really stop and remind yourself that these are photo real animals. The animals look so real, it's unbelievable. They did an incredible job of bringing to life these animals on the big screen. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. Hakuna Matata. It ain't no passing craze. When the three of them are going across that moon, I remember that from the first one, Hakuna, Matata, Hakuna. And, and you see their silhouette. I just yelled out loud with a lot of other people. Hakuna Matata! Hakuna Matata! Hakuna, most people get a bigger reaction when we say it the first, okay. Of the songs we sing, Hakuna Matata is the, is the one that Timon and Puma really have to carry. Uh, and so, and there's pressure on that song because it's such a classic. And so, you know, you want to make sure Hakuna Matata is funny. Yes. Uh, and that you're not just doing a carbon copy of the original. It ain't no passing, no passing <laughs> parade. <laughs> Craze. We should get to Donald's Bart at some point. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No. We were really given a lot of range to, to create a, uh, a, a new kind of type of dynamic in some ways and the new style of comedy for the characters. You're gonna love it here. This place is amazing. It's a, it's a special thing to be able to, to, to watch it with a child and see it through their eyes. I think that's I think that's part of getting older a little bit. You have your own thing and they feel so massive and then you get big and then you get to see it through them and then you're like, I feel like watching this movie with my son, I was like, man, this must feel so huge. To see real animals kind of doing it must feel so different, so like it's a, um, I feel like, yeah, that's a real circle of life moment for me. You must take your place. In the circle of life. Made in Hollywood.